الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس في كتابه الكريم إن الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك لمن يشاء Verily Allah does not forgive that you commit shirk with him but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he wills. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> clarifies for us الكريم, the importance of making tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not dying upon shirk. Not dying upon shirk that he subhanahu wa ta'ala is off forgiving and the most merciful tabarak wa ta'ala. And likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is shadeed al-iqab. He is also severe in his, in his uh, punishment. Tabarak wa ta'ala. And so, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala lets us know that he forgives if you die upon it. As long as it is not shirk. As long as it is not the major shirk. And as long as it isn't kufr. Meaning something that nullified your Islam in the first place. So for example, from the actions that you could do. For example, the one who steps on the, the Qur'an, the Mus'haf, intentionally. Okay, this is clearly that you cannot make a tasawwur, you cannot envision that a Muslim would ever do that intentionally, unless, and even then you wouldn't consider it intentionally, unless they were majnoon, they were insane. So it shows us the importance of watching out for kufr and shirk, and making tawbah often, because we don't know which, in which state we will die. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us to be on tawheed wa sunnah. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم